actually, so this isn't a bear video. Um, let me drink. Hmm, homebrew. Actually, tonight, uh, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, tonight we are going to fix beef and cornbread bake. And the ingredients are real simple. I have a pound of ground beef, a teaspoon of dried oregano leaves crushed, three quarters of a cup of picante sauce, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, a can of whole kernel corn drain, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and an 8 ounce package of corn muffin mix. So, oh, and just kind of a review. I don't know if anybody's ever tried one of these or has one, but it's one of these that's like a safety can opener. And it actually takes the whole top off instead of on the inside of the rim. So, I mean, there's no sharp edges or anything. But I really like that. I highly, highly recommend it uh, if you're in the market for a can opener. But uh, it's a Pyrex. So, anyway, so we'll get started. Okay, we round our hamburger and drain the grease off of that. We put in the oregano and the can of tomato sauce. Some of these ingredients sound awfully odd together, but take my word for it, this stuff is really, really good. So, like I said, I don't normally kind of get stuck in a rut making the same things over and over again. So, I went to uh, allrecipes.com and actually downloaded this recipe, and it's, it's really, really good. And it's simple. I like a uh, I like a good simple recipe, something that's not complicated, something that doesn't take hours and hours to fix, but still good. And this actually fits the bill quite nicely. And I'm going to put in the, the three quarter cup picante sauce. And this is, this is mild, we're not like real into hot spicy stuff, but if you're a person who can stand the heat, go ahead and get you hot. That's fine. And we're going to heat this all together and then I will put in the shredded cheese in just a few minutes. And I went ahead and uh, prepared my uh, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix with one third cup of milk and one beaten egg. So we just want to get that stirred up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can still have some lumps in there, but just try to get everything wet. All the ingredients, the dry stuff mixed in good. So, we'll get that mixed up and then set that off to the side and almost ready to put the cheese into our hamburger mix. So, okay. This is heated through pretty good. So, now we're going to put um, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese in here. I'm just guesstimating on this, but first time making it, you might want to follow the recipe. And I'll go ahead, whether anybody's interested or not, I'll go ahead and post the recipe uh, down below the video. So we'll mix this up, and when we get done with this, we'll put it in our casserole pan, and then we will top it with the yeah, cornbread. And you also want, right now, you probably want to go ahead and heat your oven to... 375 degrees, and then we will bake this for 25 to 30 minutes uh, until the top gets nice and golden, and then we'll let it stand for 10 minutes before we dig into it. So, we shall return. So, now we want to empty this. So, you can see the cheese is all melted in there, stringy. So, we want to go ahead and put this into our uh, casserole dish. You don't have to spray this. Said there's only one problem with this recipe that I have found. Uh, it's so good it doesn't go very far. <laughs> and that's that is the God's honest truth. I'm not lying to you about that. Alright. Now 
always like to put anything on a uh, sheet here because I don't like to clean up a mess. It happens to go over in the oven, which I don't think this will. I think it's far enough down on the inside of the container that I'm not going to worry about that. Cornbread topping on top of this. It's our cornbread mix. You want to try to get this all the way around so it covers the whole top of this. And I have to scoot it around a little bit with the spatula. As like I said, just try to get this to the edges of this to, to kind of cover the whole entire thing. So this would probably be really good camping in a Dutch oven. If anybody's into that, and I will this summer, we actually can afford to go anywhere. Uh, I'll actually be doing some uh, Dutch oven videos because I'm really into cooking on the uh, campfires and stuff, or should I say coals with a, a Dutch oven. I've got the whole set up and everything, so. So now we will put this into the oven at 375 degrees. That's like I said, for about 25 to 30 minutes. So we will come back whenever this is done cooking. And here's what this looks like when it comes out of the oven. Alrighty, later.